This time, molten agar was used and the sample to be examined may also have been prepared by cereal dilution. The agar should be kept molten at around 50 degrees Celsius in an incubator or water bath. Label the base of your empty petri dishes with all the relevant details described previously before you start. When you are ready, remove the molten agar from the incubator or water bath and allow it to cool a little further. You can roll the bottles in your hand to gauge the temperature. It is the right temperature once it is just comfortable to hold. Too hot and it will kill the inoculum. Too cold and it will start to set in the bottle. Working close to the Bunsen as usual, an inoculum is added to the agar using aseptic technique. With this method, an inoculum as great as 1 milliliter or 1000 microliters can be used, which is 10 times that usually used for spread plating. The bacteria and agar are mixed, gently to avoid any bubbles which would spoil the plate. Once mixed, the agar is poured into a sterile petri dish and allowed to set. Check the agar has set before the plates are inverted and incubated as usual. After incubation, as per usual, generally overnight, the colonies will be found both on and inside the agar. While this method allows for growth of anaerobic as well as aerobic bacteria, any obligate aerobes which end up within the agar will not grow.